Lucy's all. The more videos I post and the better and more revealing they are and rare, the less views I get. Try to understand what's go what the hell's going on. Now, if you tell me you just saw an asteroid in this shot, you definitely don't know what asteroids are. Just kidding. That was definitely a bird. You're going to see more of them um, when I film the sun. I mean, I'll be pointing them out. They have a certain pattern and trends, all birds, no matter how fast or close or far they are. This is a chance for me to get to see the fire on the sun without NASA's tools, which maybe is not as beautiful and as close, but we could still see the truth of what's happening happening on the sun with a regular camera, right? You have to know how to use it, but still, it's just a regular camera and a polarized lens, of course. This is the Pleiades, or should I say these are the Pleiades? No, it's the Pleiades with the sister stars. One of them's really bright in the center, but of course you could see another star billowing not too far away from it. A little bit of construction of the neighbors there. That's okay. And Jesus. He likes his tools. So, Pleiades. Got a shot of it yesterday. Filmed it for an hour, of course, to see if there were any UFOs around it. I got better than that. I headed over to Jupiter. And I'm going to show you what I found. I saw many flashes in space the past three days. I assure you all, I've never seen that before. Very large flashes. Could be asteroids uh, hitting all over the solar system is what I was imagining. But we're going to look at this frame here. I filmed for less than 10, 20 seconds, maybe 25 seconds. And I was able to see something... Um, several things flash beside uh, Jupiter. I do believe that we saw either an asteroid or meteor hitting Jupiter or, of course, um, pretty sure it's not one of the moons because it wouldn't have flashed that way. And we actually see an object very, very close to Jupiter, if not touching Jupiter. We're going to see it coming up right here. So this is the time I was outside filming it uh, to look at Jupiter. So... Um, we're going to see the flash appear to the right side of Jupiter, and we're going to try to get in as close as we can just to analyze the object, which is going to be pretty cool. Here it is. There it is. So we saw more than one object. It was a big flash, maybe an explosion. Now, here's the thing. Who says it's not someone on, on Jupiter or someone firing at something on Jupiter or Jupiter firing at something in the air? Look carefully. You're going to see it. I'm not making it up. You can see a hell of a nice flash there, and you know for a fact that no, it's not a moon, and it's very unusual seeing the lights appear the way they do. It's not just the moons reflecting. Um, we see also two mysterious flashes over top. Didn't mention them, but they were very, very odd. Here they are. The flash is really close up. I think it's pretty cool because we can see, I mean, look how damn close this is to Jupiter, right? There has to be things crashing on Jupiter, right? But look, I was going to say Jupiter, Jupiter. Look at the shape in form of it incredible we get to see all these shapes and forms just like nasa when he tries to show us a, an asteroid and they show it to us all pixelated because they try to get in as close as they can which i'm doing the same thing right but it's fun to see that there's a lot of activity out there and it who says i would have uh, seen that if i was elsewhere of course i wouldn't have look how fast that flash was but look how much we see there's more than one light so is it an object hitting Jupiter or, hey, is it something leaving Jupiter or is it something skimming Jupiter? Just wanted to share that. We do see the shape. There's that big flash. And this one looks like an object. That one's a star over top there. Just the two flashes on the right. The one on top is a star. And what is it? What can it be? We'll go forward and backward so you can see it. So you do see... Of that one's an explosion, but there's a shape. Is it a UFO shooting? mentioning it more and more because we're talking about space wars right just theory you say well yeah that's what science is science is theory and it's all assumptions and you know let's blow something up and let's hope that we don't overthrow the reach why do you think they put lines up around their their bombs they just do that to measure the, the areas that they can affect they did that in the 40s 50s 60s and probably probably still doing it so i wanted to share that with you all 
just quite simply on Jupiter. Um, there's another one going by in the bottom, which, by the way, is a fireball. It looks like a fireball. And not too long after, keep looking, you're going to see another one uh, go by, I think, over top. Let's see. I don't remember what this part of the clip is. I got so much footage. There it is. Second one. Right there. Sometimes you get an object that does not look like a circle or light like the regular ones I'm getting. This one is uh, higher up, but again, could be a fireball, could be a UFO, probably never know. But I do like analyzing them and trying to get them as clear as I can and as close as I can without them um, being distorted. There's another UFO going by on the bottom. Sometimes they're hard to see, you know. Another one there. You can see it's the same stars, just a couple of minutes difference as these objects are going by in the sky. And sometimes, um, oh, look at that. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Sometimes they do spectacular things is what I was going to say. And that's exactly what it did here. Maybe we'll see a collision one day. If you're watching this during the day, good luck. <laughs> I should have mentioned, actually I will, actually in this video, yeah, you will see that I will have mentioned to watch it in the dark. If not, it's so hard sometimes to see some of these lights. There's another one right there. One flashing. That was right over the Big Dipper. Can we see it again? So I can film it. Right over the Big Dipper. This one right there, actually. Yep. See, Dipper's there. And there was a flash, and this light's going to the flash. There's so much you can see by looking at the sky, guys. It's incredible. So there's definitely going to be another one meet up with this one. There it is. Over top, you see it? There it is going by upwards. You see? You can really see them. Very dim, very hard to see. Now this one's going to pick up some speed. Then go invisible. Come on. I caught you so you can leave now. Thanks. <laughs> They listen, whether people believe it or not. So my third day filming AR-2882, a very, very large sunspot. Sunspots have to be bright enough. There's plasma clouds on the south side of the sun, and there's plasma clouds on the north side of the sun that weren't there yesterday. And we're seeing that 2882 venturing, adventuring around the left side of the sun anyways, with the Carrington rotation. The sun is rotating, that's for sure. And we could see it when we analyze and film it. Here is the sunspot from today at 10.30 a.m. And I will be filming it at 12 o'clock to see if there's any difference. Once again, thanks for watching, everyone.
that's mine They are better silly down in the country They from everybody Up in the belly party club And they come and they come and hear some soon Yeah, aliens up there on the moon They may be even coming right here soon Doesn't matter cause the disclosure's coming soon. The disclosure's coming soon.